Don't call each other with nicknames. Don't throw nicknames at each other. Hey, fatty, how's it going? Yo, wide face or whatever you come up with. No, no, he doesn't mind, bro. He's, We're good. No, he don't mind at all. We're good, right? And the guy will say, yeah, 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 sure, no problem, we're good. But he's not good. A bunch of girls are hanging out together. Hey, you're so short. You're so cute. Well, she didn't appreciate that you called her short. Even if you added it so cute at the end. And even though she may not say anything now, and your friend may not say anything now, there is a day when they're going to be desperate for good deeds on Judgment Day. And if you have crimes against them, they can take your good deeds. They can take them. They may not collect now, they'll collect on Judgment Day. Watch it. This, this is especially among friends. Don't call each other nicknames. Don't call them nicknames. Even nicknames that are not mean. If they don't like a nickname, don't do it. You know, I had a... This, I travel a lot and I, was, I went to this one place where a person doesn't have a lot of respect for, I guess, personal space. The guy doesn't know me at all. Actually, doesn't know me at all. Hey, know me, how are you? I was like, excuse me? Oh, know me, it's okay, I can call you know me, right? I was like, no, you, actually, you can't. My mother calls me Norman, so I prefer you call me Norman. Uh, if anybody could call me anything they want, that would be my mom and dad, and uh, you can't. I didn't say, no, it's okay, bro. I don't like it. And if I don't like it, I better tell him now, because I'd rather not tell him on Judgment Day. <laughs> Fix it now. If somebody's doing that to you, fix it now. If you're doing it to someone, fix it now. And here's the conclusion. How terrible, how terrible is al-ismul fusuq, a corrupt word, the corrupt word, after you have iman. What does al-ismul fusuq mean? A single word that can be offensive to someone is a horrible thing for anyone who has Iman. In other words, filthy language out of your mouth and faith inside your heart cannot coexist. You cannot have Iman in your heart which has been beautified, zayyanahu fi qulubikum, and ugly words come out of your mouth. If you have no control over, you know, whatever four letter words you keep using every time you get frustrated, there's a, there's a spiritual problem. It's not just a habit problem, it is a spiritual problem. The other side of that equation from the same ayah is actually how can you use a terrible word for anyone who has iman? Anybody who has iman, you cannot use terrible words for them anymore. You can't use bad for, words for them anymore. Corrupt words are no longer allowed for another Muslim. It's just not allowed. And people who don't want to give it up, people who don't want to repent, and those are the wrongdoers.